I've always had a love for uh, motorsports, cars, engines, and um, I found myself from being a spectator, seeing the things out here. Uh, it was just like, I was just really enthusiastic about everything. And I decided I needed to get closer to the action. And I found that through media because I, I always had an eye for photography. And I got myself a camera. I got involved with the other media persons out here. And I just kept coming to meets and I got better at my craft. And I'm out here every single meet. My most memorable event has been, um, I remember, I've always been a big fan of Bishop Passat and he has a, a car now recently acquired last year, I believe. And um, it was really good to see him come and get some laps in and dominate. Uh, he's been winning races since last year. He won endurance and now he's winning circuit races. Uh, there's a lot of talks about the GT3 class uh, with some cars being acquired here by some, uh, some drivers. So uh, I've actually seen Franklin Woodram here today and I had a talk with him. He's been saying that a lot of cars from the Caribbean, GT3 cars that are currently being acquired by a lot of the Caribbean drivers, including many Guyanese. And I think that's, I think that's something everybody's excited for, the GT3 class. Uh, I've heard cars like uh, BM Soot has a Praga. Um, I've heard about the 911 GT3. And we have um, Franklin Woodram with his Lamborghini GT3. So it'll be awesome come November to see all these GT3 cars out here rocking South Dakota.